Today, our scripture comes from Paul's letter to the Romans. Now, he is painting a picture of what it looks like to follow Christ. And let me just warn you, we've gotten to the part in the letter where Paul presents pretty much a list of things to do. If we're not careful, it is easy to read through this list and get overwhelmed. We might find ourselves saying, geez, just give me the gist already. And if we're not careful, we could wind up with a summary that goes like this. Be a nice person. Even when it's hard, be nice anyway. Now, if you are tuning into church because some part of you is hungry for the hope of the gospel, the last thing you need is somebody telling you, it's nice to be nice. Nobody needs that. But instead, what if Paul knew the world was turning itself over? What if all creation is groaning and yearning to come back to life? And this is the work of the gospel. And this is the scripture that shows us something of what it looks like to conspire with the Holy Spirit in bringing about what God is longing for because God is longing for revolution. So you wanna know what we can do What if it's right here? This would be a good spot to pause the video and go and get a Bible if you have one in your house. Welcome back. If you didn't have a Bible, but you do have the internet, you are in luck. You can go to BibleGateway.com and enter the scripture in the search field. Today, we will be reading Romans chapter 12 verses 9 through 21 and if you have a non-electronic bible like i have you'll notice that we can find romans close to the back so it's in the new testament after the four gospels and then after the book of acts so almost to the very end As I am reading the scripture out loud, I invite you to notice the tender points where you hear God turning the world toward love. Chapter 12, verses 9 through 21. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another and do not be haughty. Associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads. Do not be overcome by evil, 
but overcome evil with good. We heard the scripture read out loud, and this time I will invite you to read that scripture one more time to yourselves. But while you are reading, please pay attention and, and try to identify just a short phrase, maybe one of those instructions or a part of those instructions, just a few words that lay a claim to your soul. What short phrase is something that you might want to take into your life and take on for these coming days and weeks? So at this time, let us join in reading this one more time to ourselves. I hope you've had enough time to read that to yourself. If not, please feel welcome to pause the video, of course. I also hope that a short phrase might have caught your attention. If we were all sitting around together at a retreat, I would hand out bookmarks to everybody that look like this. And I hope it's not backwards, but it says, words of revolution with a colon. Um, so since I can't hand you a bookmark through the internet, I'm going to invite you to make your own. You might cut a strip of paper or cardstock, and on the one side, they'll all say words of revolution. And then the other side of this bookmark is exactly for that phrase that caught your attention. So I'm going to take a moment and write down my phrase. So my bookmark says words of revolution, and then it's harder to read, but it says rejoice in hope. And I hope that you now have a bookmark with an idea for a spiritual practice to take on in the face of hate or to help turn our world toward greater peacemaking and greater love. May this practice nourish your soul and change our world. <laughs> 